Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another one of my Mythic Mobs tutorials. Today, we're going to be covering mob levels. Now, what are levels, you ask? It's quite simple. Levels are basically the numerical value that will determine how strong your mob will be. Now, levels can influence several things, so um, bear with me. It's going to take a little bit to kind of cover and explain it all. I will have a second part of this tutorial and I'll explain why when I get to it. However, for now we're just going to go ahead and start on the levels. Now, mob levels. Basically, this is going to be the distinction between a tiny little level 1 mob and a pretty strong level, you know, 50 plus mob. There's going to be quite a significant difference, especially depending on the variables or... Um, attributes that you set up. Now, um, how can you do this in such a way that it will scale how you want? Well, there are several ways to do that, actually. So, first one we're going to talk about... Actually, no, I'm just going to list them all here. First off is the set level mechanic, which allows you to set a mob level, uh, either by adding, subtracting, multiplying, etc., uh, based on whatever you want to do, such as damage, kill player you know, interact, whatever the case. Either way, there's a set level mechanic. You can do it via spawners. However, with this, you can only set one level at a time, which is kind of sad. You can't do a level range, but it is what it is. And last is world scaling. Now, world scaling involves random spawns, and for that to work properly, it will always start at your coordinates 0, 0, 0, wherever you are on the map. So, even if you set spawn somewhere in a um, specific world, it still won't be the origin. You have to use 0, 0, 0 for XYZ coordinates. Basically with that, it's I believe every 250 blocks or so, uh, your mobs will be a different power level. Now that's going to be pretty significant depending on how far out you go, especially if you have world scaling set to true and you have many, many different... Um, Basically, many different areas for players to explore. Uh, yeah, the farther out they go, the stronger your mobs are going to be. Now, let's go ahead and jump into the file and talk about setting it up. So here we have our little section called level modifiers. By default, your mob is actually going to go. Um, is going to start off at level zero. So one thing you're going to want to do, unless you're using spawners, you're going to want to have a mechanic here. Set level action equals set value equals one, add self, on spawn. Because by default, mobs are always going to be level zero unless specified like this. So, to get this going, um, let me go ahead and just show you what I got going on right now. So, I'm spawn level dummy. Okay, so what I have displaying right now is his current health, his max health, and his mob level. Now he's level 1 because we told him to use uh, the set level mechanic whenever he spawns. I have it set to where whenever I right click him, he is going to add another level to himself. As you can see, the number changed to 2 and his health went up. 3, same thing. Now why is this happening? Well that's because, first off, I forgot to reload after doing this part. Let me go ahead and... whoops. Yeah, so he's going to keep doing that because that's what he's, uh, that's what he's coded to do. Let me go ahead and kill him off here and spawn him back in. Hmm, still going. That's strange. Anyway, so what it is, is you have six, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, seven different things that you can do with it. First off is your health. How much health is he going to get per level? You can do 15. So say he has 100 at level 1. At level 2, he'll have 115. Level 3, 130, so on and so forth. And again, there are various ways you can set this up. On interact is what I have right now for display. You can do on kill player, so every time you kill somebody, he gets stronger. Uh, you can do whatever you want, but I'm going to go ahead and keep it on interact. Next is damage. This is going to... Oh, and I forgot to mention, this only adds on to these numbers. It does not multiply or anything. It's simply addition, so it'd basically be 100 plus 15. So next is damage. That's going to directly add on to the damage value, which is the amount of damage he does whenever he hits you. As you can see, it's not doing anything because I totally forgot to turn off god mode. Right now he's not doing anything for damage because 
I have it set to do 0 0.01, which is essentially nothing. But if I do this, I'm going to go ahead and reload here. Okay. Yeah, so now he's doing a heart of damage because I have him set to do two damage, which is equal to a heart. Now, if I set this to four and reload, now he's going to do essentially a heart and a half to two hearts of damage. That gets pretty significant, and I'm sure you can see just how strong that'll be later on if you're messing with high-level mobs. But of course, you can set the numbers to whatever you want. I'm going to set that back down to two. Next is knockback resistance. Again, it's going to add on to whatever number you have defined here. By default, all mobs have... Oh my gosh, excuse me. By default, all mobs have a knockback resistance of zero. But... I had it set to 1 because I don't like my mobs getting knocked away whenever I hit them. However, that's up to you. So we're going to go ahead and assume it's at 0. If I do this, maybe 0 0.25, every level he has, he gains a 25% chance to not be knocked back. If you watched one of my tutorials on my tutorial playlist for beginners, you will know that this doesn't mean how, like, how far no he'll get knocked back. This literally means how much of a chance he has to block getting knocked back. So once he reaches level four, he will have a 100% chance to not get ba uh, knocked back anymore. Pretty terrifying. Next is power level. This is basically directly related to four specific mechanics. Heal, heal percent, damage, and damage percent. Uh, it's also related to some special mechanics such as projectiles, but I'll cover all of this in the next tutorial. For now, we're just gonna go ahead and skip over this. Again, we have um, we have our armor here. It works exactly the same as the ones above. It's going to add on uh, a certain amount of armor based on what level he is. Now, armor has nothing to do with our typical Minecraft armor, such as, uh, whoops. I am doing the wrong command. Iron, helmet, one, okay. So like this, whenever we put this on, we get armor down there. You can't really see it because my chat's in the way, I apologize. Um, but basically, that's like percentage-based. There's a built-in thing in Minecraft for it. Uh, I don't know what it is per se, I'd have to research it some more. However, armor on a mob is specifically how much damage it is going to negate from what you do. So say I have a sword that does 16 damage. He has the armor value of 10, which is going to mean I am only going to do 6 damage to him. But we will go over that more another time. Next is movement speed. By default, mobs have a movement speed of 0.2. I highly recommend not making these crazy big numbers. If anything, I'd say like 0.05, uh, because that's, that's a 5% movement speed increase. And well, you know, you definitely don't want to go too overboard. So uh, I'm going to leave that at, actually, I should have left that at 0 0.05. And then attack speed. Next is basically how fast he can auto attack players. Now, there is a built-in Minecraft um, damage, like, time limit thing, immunity table, whatever it's called. Meaning you can only take so much damage within a set period. But this will allow him to keep attacking, assuming he's attacking another mob. So if I set it to 5, we'll see what happens here. As you can see, he can't attack super fast, so I don't think this one's really worth messing with, to be honest. Uh, it does exist, but it doesn't really do anything, so I don't recommend messing with that at all. But essentially, those are mob levels. Oh, yeah, and you can see that he's actually moving now. I'm leveling him up as I, you know, as I right-click him, and now he's like super crazy fast, and I'm probably going to die here. But, yep, there it is. So... Those are mob levels. Oh, he's back. <laughs> okay, so that's essentially mob levels, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, very, very versatile function. Let me go walk. Let me moonwalk and grab my helmet here. Okay, so very versatile thing to add to your mobs. This will definitely help out a bunch. Um, yeah, so however you want to mess with that is entirely up to you. Uh, that's a good way to differentiate your weaker mobs from your stronger ones using the same mob. Say you want, you know, you have two different 
you have a mob and you want a stronger version of him, but you don't want to change anything about it, mob levels is the way to go. I hope this uh, answered any questions you guys may have had. If it did, make sure to uh, like and subscribe. Make sure to give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if there's anything else that you would like to see covered. Uh, make sure to join my Discord, too. I'm going to have a link to that in the description. I've got a pretty cool community going on. And, uh, you know, we're welcome to everybody, you know, open questions for anyone. There are lots of players willing to, you know, help each other out. So if you have any questions, make sure to uh, feel free to hop on over to my new public Discord channel and give it, you know, check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see what you come up with in the future.